to train your uh, shoulders to eliminate the use of your neck. If you've you know, ever grabbed some groceries and after just a few minutes, your neck gets really sore. It usually means your neck is kind of helping out for what your deltoids, your shoulder muscles should be doing. So a good way to train that just with a band. Um, you could do this off the wall, but it's better to do it on the wall, just more for form, you know, especially in the beginning, as you get better with this, you can start to go off the wall. But uh, you want to stand pretty close to the, the edge of the wall like that. You want to make sure your abdominals are tucked in, your chest is up, so your shoulder blades are kind of flattened onto the back. So my head will be back as well. Um, I want to really focus on the core. So if the core is not r tight, I'm going to have to end up using my, uh, my, my upper traps. Um, same thing with the upper back. If I'm kind of forward, uh, forward rolled over here, most likely the traps have a good advantage to start working. So uh, if you've got good form, you want to start off with a light band just so you make sure that you're hitting your, um, your, your shoulder muscles. But I'm going to kind of graze with the back of my hand and each, as I go, I'm really focusing on my core. So I'm, I'm feeling my shoulder muscles, but I'm actually feeling a lot of my core muscles as well. Um, and as you just want to go to the point where you can really feel it in the shoulder, but um, as soon as you feel like it's going into the neck, either tighten your core even more, fix your posture, because you might, you might, it might be coming off the wall. Um, but as long as you've got good posture and you're, um, you're only feeling it in your shoulder muscles, you can go up to about 90 degrees. You can actually go up a little bit higher than that. There's some benefits to that as well. Um, but you're really just isolating those shoulder muscles and just keeping a really good alignment.